Today we gonna talk about what is HIV or AIDS, how to avoid and how to stop it from spreading. The human immunodeficiency viruses HIV are two species of lentivirus a subgroup of retrovirus that causes HIV infection and over time acquired immunodeficiency syndrome AIDS. AIDS is a condition in humans in which progressive failure of the immune system allows life-threatening opportunistic infections and cancers to thrive. Without treatment, average survival time after infection with HIV is estimated to be 9 to 11 years, depending on the HIV subtype. In most cases, HIV is a sexually transmitted infection and occurs by contact with or transfer of blood, ejaculate, semen, and vaginal fluids. Research has shown for both same-sex and opposite-sex couples that HIV is untransmissible through condomless sexual intercourse if the HIV-positive partner has a consistently undetectable viral load. Non-sexual transmission can occur from an infected mother to her infant during pregnancy, during childbirth by exposure to her blood or vaginal fluid, and through breast milk. Within these bodily fluids, HIV is present as both free virus, particles, and virus within infected immune cells. Globally, 69% of estimated affected individuals come from Africa with an estimated 25,700,000 individuals diagnosed with HIV or AIDS. This is the highest among all regions in the world. Global HIV and AIDS Statistics 2019 Fact Sheet in 2018 the latest data available 37,900,032.7 million to 44 million people globally were living with HIV 23,300,020.5 million to 24,300,000 people were accessing antiretroviral therapy 1,700,001.4 million to 2,300,000 people became newly infected with HIV. 770,570,000 to 1,100,000 people died from AIDS-related illnesses. 74,900,058.3 million to 98,100,000 people have become infected with HIV since the start of the epidemic. 32,023.6 million to 43,800,000 people have died from AIDS-related illnesses since the start of the epidemic. The Philippines has become the country with the fastest-growing HIV epidemic in Asia and the Pacific, and has become one of eight countries that account for more than 85% of new HIV infections in the region. The figure brings the total number of cases this year to 3434. The total cases since January 1984 has reached 65,463 as of 2019. We explain HIV and AIDS. The human immune system defends the body against illnesses all the time. It uses guards in the blood called T-cells to recognize any intruders and destroy them. But instead of attacking the body, the human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV, attacks those T-cells themselves. It turns them into copy machines to make more copies of itself, then eventually kills the infected T-cells. Without treatment, it takes eight years on average for a person with HIV to develop AIDS, or acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. By then, there aren't enough T-cells to fight off various infections and diseases. So, it's not the virus directly, but the diseases that are eventually fatal. Humans first acquired HIV from blood contact with apes and gradually transmitted it to more people through unprotected sex, used syringes, and childbirth. AIDS remained undiscovered until a sudden outbreak among gay men in New York and San Francisco in 1981. Very quickly, people began developing the same unusual symptoms around the world. The patients suffered from rare forms of skin cancer, pneumonia or thrush, and few survived. 
Prejudice against homosexuality made research funding hard to get, and more and more people were getting sick. What could be done? Keep the virus from spreading. It became clear that the best preventive measure was safe sex, as condoms kept the virus from infecting others. Additionally, blood banks started testing blood, and new programs even distributed clean needles to drug users. Finally, in 1987, the first treatment against the virus was released, the ancestor of combination therapy. The medication still isn't a cure, but it keeps the virus from multiplying and destroying the host's immune system. By starting treatment early, people with HIV can now live long, healthy lives. Unfortunately, many people still lack access to medication, especially in sub-Saharan Africa. Over the last 30 years, about 36 million people have died, while 2 million more are infected each year. Scientists have made a lot of progress, but are still looking for the cure. You too can help end the AIDS crisis. Play safe, get tested, donate to support research, prevention and care, and spread the word.